Welcome to the custom retarget pose for Movit. Uh, this is a general tutorial because retargeting is an Unreal Engine thing. It doesn't really come with Movit in any way or form, but it's a major component to Movit. So we're going to cover how to fix any retargeting issues with any animation. Nothing to do with Movit, but of course Movit is the example in this case. So hide the engine content okay so we've got our character set up and this guy his retarget pose is pretty good but have a look at it man that's weird it took this pose to get good results when retargeting from the unreal engine mannequin now the unreal engine mannequin is odd he's meant to be physically accurate probably he is but he doesn't produce good results a lot of the time, especially in the neck area. So a lot of people have retargeted uh, the animations and the neck is strangely angled. So I'm going to show you what to do. First of all, even before you initially retarget move it, if it's a new character, it's a good idea to take the run forward animation. The run forward animation is great at showing you any issues. So I'm just going to retarget that. And drop them in. Now I'm going to come back to the move it, run forward, drop them in. So you can see his head is angled slightly down, his head's hang angled slightly down. And yeah, the mannequin's got a weird neck. I'm not surprised it causes issues in a way. I mean, it looks fine on the mannequin. So I hit Alt S for simulate. So take a look at the Toon character. I think he lines up pretty well, but again, the neck, it's not fantastic. Like, it could be more forward, and then the head be more back, for it to uh, match properly. Like, it's a little stiff, a little upright. Now, if you are using a custom character, you might have to make massive modifications, kind of like I did with the custom retarget pose, to get what you want. So. I have him in his retarget pose. I'm just going to take a bone. We want the neck. Where is that neck gone? Right here. So I'm going to rotate it forward a couple. Let's really exaggerate this. It will offset the head just a bit. So it's changed quite a lot. Now what we're going to do, create asset, create pose asset, current pose, And I'm just going to chuck it here. OK. So I've got this pose zero. And it pushes them into the new pose we made. So we come back to the skeleton. So let's go hide pose, view pose. And it's back to the normal one because it do, did not save those changes and it shouldn't. So this is a new pose. I go import. And now that's his pose. Okay, so hit save, and we're going to retarget the run forward again. And have a look at what difference it made. So let's chuck him in behind here. So now his neck is more forward, and it looks more natural. But okay, his head needed to be rotated back more, because it's looking too far down. So again, I open the skeleton, and we'll just take the head, rotate it back one. Do the same thing, create pose. Now we'll hit no for that, and it will give us a new one. So you go modify pose. Oh, maybe I needed to change the name there. So create pose. And we'll just call this two. Okay. So now he's looking like he's having some pretty extreme modifications there. But that's fine. If it gets us results that retarget properly, that's what we what we want. Okay. So now this version here, this is what we started with, and we had a neck issue, and that Correcting that neck issue gave us a head issue, and now we've corrected the head issue. You may have all sorts of issues. The hands might have issues. Uh, 
legs might be too far forward, the feet might be penetrating the ground when they don't with the original animation. This guy, is, he's, he's fine for the most part. In fact, you'll probably never get him completely accurate. So I'm having a look at the arms. Do they line up? Is his forward pose too far back or is his back pose too far forward? I mean, yeah, his arms could rotate forward a little bit and we could get more accurate arm movement. So with a character who is so different, you're never going to get him to line up 100%. It, it's a best effort thing, but you can get it to look really good if you tweak it until it retargets properly. When you're happy with the pose, then you retarget the whole animation blueprint and continue with the process. So that's how I correct a retarget pose. Right. Thank you for watching.